Hi, this is Chuck. Welcome to our video question of the week. This week's question comes in from Bill in Maine, and he writes, our biggest frustration is we have no customer loyalty anymore. Any ideas for us? Um, well, Bill, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. A lot of people are, are, have the same frustration that, that you do. And certainly um, purchasing policies and you know, a lot of our work as system integrators is done at, at schools and hospitals and, you know, places where government money is involved in funding the, the construction or the, the projects that we're working on. So it's, it's natural to think that, that, and in fact, you might have customers that do want to do business with you. It's just that their purchasing policies require them to, to take the low bid, basically. So, um, you know, and certainly the bid market is the toughest of all. And and with that, your goal should at least be to get the last look. So, so if you have a strong reputation as a company that's easy to do business with and, and does the project um, on time and does it right and, and on budget every time, those are the kind of companies that, that people want to do business with. And therefore, you know, oftentimes you'll get that last look or they'll go to you last to see if you're able to to uh, get the bid um, at the number that that they have to to work with, but it's it's tough in that in that particular environment. So um, certainly you want to build that reputation as as being the best in your area, the easiest to do business with, having superior service, and getting things done right the first time. Um, I always recommend people just you know avoid that open bidding environment. If you're if you find yourself constantly working on projects where anybody can bid on that without pre-qualification criteria or going to a you know a pre-bid meeting or anything like that having a short list of integrators you might want to just walk away from that kind of thing because it it never works out you know the company who gets the project is usually the one that that has forgotten something or made some sort of mistake so i would really encourage you to get with your sales team and and try to build up a client base based on companies that see more um, value and the performance rather than the low price. So, you know, it's, it's a, very easy to say and hard to do, but try to manage those key accounts with a, you know, a, a high-end sales team that, that is always in there working with the clients kind of on a partnership type basis to, to find new opportunities in, in other uh, parts of the facility and, and whatnot. So really work on that, that account, if you will, work it very, very hard and, and keep your sales team focused on uh, building additional revenue through the existing clients that you do have, the ones that do value um, performance rather than price, as I said. So, um, you know, keep positive. Just, just keep doing the right things. And, and I think in time, those things do pay off, and you will start to see that, that you're building up a, a more loyal uh, client base there. So uh, thanks for the questions. Good, good question that you asked.